Oh, I thank God. I thank God. Thank you. Thank you. You better say it. Go ahead on. He won't be up this morning. He wake up every morning. I don't need no time to lock He give me the work on the time. Yeah. I don't just give me the work on the time. He give me the church on the time. All right. All right. Woo. But I never know. I'm going to be in God out first. Yeah. Me and my wife be the first one in that pocket like this. Turn him up. We never leave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We thank the Lord. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I feel good. I'm Amen. just Amen. In the Lord. Amen. Yeah. God is doing a, a miraculous work. I feel good about it. Yeah. Amen. How many of y'all know God got a plan for your life? Amen. Uh, how many of y'all know God got a plan for your life? Amen. Ooh, pray, it, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that God has your plan for your life. Uh, no, it doesn't mean that. It, 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 it simply means that God has a plan for your life. Amen. See, and one thing about God, His ability is proven. Time and time again. Time and time again. His, his ability is proven. So he, he, he never fails. And he is God all by himself. See, there, there, there is but one God. There is but one God. Now we, we, we get it all twisted up in our mind and our character. But there is but one God. Amen. And there are, many, there are many voices, but yet one God. Amen. Well, I thank God. And, and, and when your eyes become single, when, when you can just stay your mind on the Lord. Amen. Huh? It, it, you know, it, it, it only becomes easy when you make your mind up. Amen. When you submit yourself. Mm -hmm. I heard him say, be ye holy. For I am holy. Huh? You, you, you got that, you got you got that uh you got the second Corinthians uh uh, uh what is it? Second Corinthians six? The second Corinthians, come on somebody. Amen. Second Corinthians six. Huh? Seventeen. You got to come out from amongst them. They just, they just, they just, they, they in no other way. They, they, but one way is that God way. You, you, you got to come out from amongst them. You know, I, 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 you know, right here in my Bible it said in, in, in Second Corinthians the. Sixth chapter, and I read uh, in the 16th verse, it said, And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and will walk in them, and I will be their God and they shall be my people God has a plan for your life Amen. wherefore come out from amongst them and be ye separate yes. saith the Lord mm -hmm. and touch not the unclean thing and I will receive you and will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and daughters saith the Lord Almighty oh I thank God I give God amen. praise glory and honor amen, amen. 
How many of you know that you, you can't touch an unclean thing? You, 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 got, you got to come out from amongst them. You got to leave it alone. How many of y'all know God got a plan for your life? God, 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 God is love slash light. And there's no darkness in him. You know, you, you know in, 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 in 1 John, the, the fourth chapter, it tells me that it walks me through the entire scenario. It begins to tell me, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that testifies or to confess that Jesus come into the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confess not that Jesus come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, opposer, against, against love, against peace, against joy, against the plan that God has for your life, against you getting on your feet, ever getting on your feet. Well, ye have heard that it should come, and even now already it is in the world. This is not something that's far off. This is not something that's coming one day. This is already operating. This is, all, this is already operating. And, 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 and we've been we've been walking and talking amongst them. We got to come out from amongst them. Jesus said, "You think that I come to bring peace? I didn't come to bring peace. I come to bring a sword. Five will be in one room, and and, and, and three will be on one side, and two will be on the other side." Sons will be against fathers and fathers against sons and mothers against daughters and daughters against mothers. That's right. That's what it said. Exactly. And if you don't want that, that if you don't want that in your arena, come out from amongst them. Yes. Become one with God. This thing is already taking place. Yes, it is. It's already happening. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Pastor. You know, in, in other words, in other words, light has come. And this is condemnation. That light has come and men love darkness rather than light. They're children of light, are children of God, and they're children of darkness. And many times they're right in our own homes and our own household. Every man got to be persuaded of his own mind. You got to run on, you got to press on. You got to love the law. Oh, praise be to God. Look, 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 look what he said. He said, Ye are the children. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is within you than he is in this world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Ye are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. There's times in our lives when we can't hear the word of God. That it's, it's to the point where we come and humble ourselves. You, you can't serve two masters. If your mind is not made up, then the, then the light that's it within you is darkness. And then how great is that darkness? 
God has a plan for your life. God is love. You got to make your mind up. In, in, the, in the book of Genesis, Genesis the third, the, the thirty-seventh chapter, where Joseph is is is, is a child that that's, that's loved of his father, and 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 yet his his brethren hate him because his father loves him. He he he's the son of his old age. And his father, his father love. It didn't say his father. It, it, it said his father love him more than the other. Not that he didn't love the others. He just was that apple of his father's eyes. His father had his reason. He was. He was. He, he was the son of his old age. He was the son of all. Oh, you can't have no children. What kind of child you going? You can't do this. You can't do that. You ain't going to never get on your feet. You ain't going to make it. He just loved him. And his brethren hated him. And when he told them of a dream, they hated him even the more. But how many of y'all know God had a plan for Joseph's life? The Bible says he didn't hate if his brother is in darkness even as he lived, even now. Oh, I thank God. In 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 in, in first. John, the second chapter. The eighth verse, it said, again, a new commandment I write unto you, which things is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light now shine. He that, he that saith he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even unto now. How you gonna find your way through life and you in darkness? How, how you gonna be able to find your car keys and you in darkness? How you gonna live in a country with milk and honey and everybody else is getting on their feet but you in darkness. He said, well, Pastor, you just don't know what I've been through and what my people have been through. Joseph. They was out to kill him. They hated him. They, the Bible said they envied him. They throwed him off. When they were talked out of killing him, they throwed him over into a hole to leave him there, to let him die. When one brother interceded for him by the grace of God, how many of y'all know that God had a plan for Joseph's life? When your mind is stayed on the Lord, you're kept in perfect peace. When your mind is stayed on the light, you can see light when you're when your eyes are single, your whole body is full of light. So instead of seeing the negativeness of it, he's instead of seeing the light of it. See, in order for you and I to do that, we today we have to come from amongst them. We have to come from among people that don't have good advice, that's not filled with God, Holy Spirit. Because they're going to tell you some word or scenario of what's going on in your life. You know, the Bible said, don't lay up treasure on the earth for thieves and robbers come in and rust out. It doesn't say don't have any decent things. It doesn't say don't have any decent treasure. What it says, what it says is, don't put your heart in things here on this earth. Don't fall in love with nothing so that somebody could cause you to backslide and begin to hate 
in this light, come on somebody, that have feelings opposite of the love of God. Don't, don't get played off into that corner. If you've been born again, seek the things above and not the things that's here on this earth. Because the things that are above will supply the things on this earth that you need to get through. See, see, see when, when an ambassador, when, when an ambassador from Russia is in the United States, or vice versa, an ambassador of the United States is in Russia, the country pays for all everything, meets all of their needs. It supplies all of their needs. When you seek the things that's above and not the things that's here on the earth, God will supply all of your needs according unto his riches and glory. But if your eyes are double, you begin to look for what you can get down here and hope you can get up there. But then you're divided in how great is that darkness. Now you begin to talk about your vision and your purpose and where you go instead of where God is taking you at. Not one time did Joseph mention where he was going at. He had already had a dream and, and laid out the dream. Just like Joseph was the apple of his father's eye, you and I were the apple of our father's eye. We are the apple of the eye of God. The world is waiting on the manifestation. The world is waiting on the sons of God, the sons and the daughters of God to back up from amongst them and become single-minded and become the light that God called them to be. To show the love that God calls them to show. Everybody want to tell you what a Christian is and how he's supposed to be. Why don't you get your answers from God? Amen. Why you get uh, why everybody else can tell you what a preacher is supposed to be, what a deacon is supposed to be, how a preacher is supposed to live, how, how a deacon is supposed to live, how a saint is supposed to live? How don't you ask God Amen. to order my steps in that word? Yes. Come on now. Because when we begin to hear from everybody's opinion, and most of them don't put nothing on the table. Uh -huh. Most people that talks about churches and tithes and offerings and preachers and stuff don't put nothing in. Most people that said that the church are where the church ought to. All the money that the church have, they have enough money to solve the problems in the communities that they're in. But it doesn't include, includes any of the talkers' money. And then not only that, you can see it's an antichrist that's speaking because it never says the whole country pays taxes to the government and the government could solve the problems that's in the community. It targets the church. And it targets it for a reason. Because the flesh is an enmity against God. Because there's a personal agenda against God. The God that, that, that saved your soul. The God that is to make you whole. The God that lifts you up and puts you on your feet. <coughs> Why is it, Pastor, that I'm on my feet one minute, I'm struggling the next minute, I'm on my, is that God's purpose away in my life? What is actually going on? Well, Joseph had some ups and downs, and he basically had the ups and downs because it was already described that his brothers hated him because his father loved him. But where did that hatred come from? After he was out of the presence of his brothers, that hatred still existed. Perhaps he was never rational against flesh and blood. 
but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Perhaps it was never personal what was going on. Maybe what was going on was the devil was trying to get him to hate those that he saw. Can I, can I, can I just talk with you for a minute? The Bible says he that received who I sent received me and he that received me received who sent me. Come on somebody. Tell me this then. The Bible declared that how can a man say that he loves God? Oh you said just put some Bible with it. Don't don't go there without some Bible. John the fourth chapter six verses said we are of God he that knoweth God heareth us and he that is not of God heareth not us wherefore know ye the spirit of truth and the spirit of error beloved let us love one another for love is of God and everyone that love is born of God and knoweth God he that love loveth not he that loveth not knoweth not God for God is what love oh y'all with me in this was manifest the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son in the world that we might live through him here in his love not that we love God but that he loved us. See, God is the one put forth the hand to love us. God is the one that sacrificed his son to love us and sent his son to be a perpetuation for our sin. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to also love one another. If you will love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, then you have to love your neighbor as your and upon these two hang all the law. Huh? He said, look at what he said. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us. And his love is perfected in us. Here, hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be a savior of the world. Whomsoever confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love and he that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him oh yeah we write it up herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in in the world there is no fear in love Perfect love casts out fear because fear has torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man said, Woo, don't go there, love. Skip this verse and go to another verse. No, 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 it's right this one. If a man said, I love God and hate his brother, he is what? a liar don't you know you can pick a liar out when he always talk about his brother when he always put down his sister 